Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be an Aries reading. This is a general timeless reading, so whenever you find this is meant for you. Also, this is for any Aries placement, so sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it, okay? Or you could just be curious about another Aries. There's nothing wrong with that. I am going to meditate with you guys to help us release any negative energy and allow us to be open to receive any of the messages in this reading, okay? So if you're comfortable, feel free to meditate with me by breathing in and out. Okay, let's get started, Aries. I know I'm very up close and personal today, um, but I'm filming in the daytime. And lately when I've been filming in the daytime, it's a really big glare from the window. So if I push it back too far, um, you just won't be able to see me or the cards. And then I can't turn off the ring light because the lighting isn't good in my apartment. Okay, so I'm sorry, but we're just very up close and personal today aries okay um i have been channeling in my personal life um and i thought it would be a interesting thing to bring to my channel um and to share the messages that i get for each sign during you guys' reading okay so hopefully that's something that you enjoy um this week well i don't want to say week because it's a general message um and it's timeless but the channel message or the vision that i got for you before the reading um was two cars passing each other by and now i'm getting the vision of one being red and one being blue i'm not sure what that means um i will usually take red for being more passion um taking the initiative blue to me symbolizes more of emotions also that's the um the it's the throat chakra red will probably be more of like root chakra energy okay so maybe there's a need for you to express yourself um, or you're wanting someone else to express themselves um, but anything that we ask from other people or we see within other people i should say aries is usually a strong mirror of ourselves okay something that we're not able to see within ourselves or we don't want to see most times okay so i would say that expressing yourself is probably mutual energy um with the root chakra well with the color red coming out um it could mean that there's a need for some grounding okay uh some need to address maybe some past issues of course this is a tarot reading so um of course that that would be like a need for you okay and i'm sorry if you guys can hear music in the background just don't mind it okay um also somebody seemed very upset in the car okay um so a little bit maybe of road rage um that could be an issue for some aries watching also maybe possibly temper that could be yours or someone in your environment a very interesting channel message so let's see how that plays out um in your reading aries okay so i'm gonna draw three cards for your general reading then we're gonna close with the outcome card and then we're gonna move into your um love reading okay and i am going to be doing um a reading each week for every sign and then I'll do also a reading for the month so it should be a total of five readings a month for each sign um, if certain signs get more views during the week then um, I'll do a bonus reading okay and I'm sorry Aries I actually dropped one card I just kind of disappeared on you um, so we have coming out first two of swords okay um, air energy that's that need to verbally express something that you're thinking okay um but it, it is between two choices okay so it could be past and future or it could be two people aries okay or it could be between career um personal life or family or some type of 
offer that you want to give somebody. I'm not sure why I said offer, but <laughs> that could be where your mind is at. Okay. Trying to decide. I don't feel third party. And I know people always think that when you say it's between two people, but, um, it doesn't always have to be scandalous, you know, as people would hope it would be. Um, then we have coming out after that Aries, the seven of cups. Okay. So decisions, they're definitely on the table for you to make a choice or some type of decision. Okay. You can have a lot of options right now. And I feel like that this was similar energy in your past, um, reading that you needed to make a decision, but you were not making it. Okay. So we're still in that energy. So that means that you have not made a decision on what you should. Okay. So you're kind of dragging your feet a little bit there, Aries. Okay. Very much procrastinating. Um, it's a snake in this car, so you could be fearful. I don't think it's anyone else in your environment you should be fearful of. Um, I think it's just kind of your own fear and your own insecurities, but we have to make sure, Aries, that we're coming from a place of love and not fear, okay? So to come from fear is from our lower self. To come from love is from our higher self and from God, okay? So always be mindful of that. Um, definitely a lot of options. Okay. This, this could be a job because this is a general reading. So you could apply for a lot of jobs. Um, and you just have a lot of influx coming in. Okay. Of people wanting to hire you and you don't know where to go and you're trying to just take the best offer, but follow your intuition, follow your passions. Um, truly think about, um, if this is something you could see yourself doing also, if you're able to do a work interview, um, take it. Okay. Somebody watching this could be like a nurse or maybe like a dentist hygienist, which is if I'm saying that correctly, I don't know why, but that's just the energy I'm feeling. Okay. Um, take the work interview. Okay. Or ask the employer if you can come in for a paid day of work and just see what the company culture is Aries. Okay. Because that might help you cut out a lot of people, um, a lot of opportunities that you're thinking about because they just may not be a good fit for your um, personality, okay? Um, and Aries, you are the emperor, okay? So you are a natural born leader, okay? So make sure if this is going after a job that you're taking a job where you can actively be a leader and show your skill set. And people will respect that and understand that. Okay. So don't settle Aries. Okay. Don't settle for something that is not truly a part of your path or where you can use your natural skill sets and talents. Okay. I'm picking that heavy up for the seven of cups. Okay. And this and and I feel like you should carry that in all aspects of your life, Aries. Okay. So whether this is romance, career, friendship, family, you should be living in your power and being your true self. So if you like to take the initiative, because when I think of Aries, they are the emperors. Okay. Rulers of many nations. Okay. Very powerful energy. Okay. Um, and I love Aries because they are very, um, when you meet them, they stand in their power. They're very uh, upfront. They're very honest. Um, they just have a very strong um, impression or what's the I'm looking for? I'm going to say vibe, but that's not the word I'm looking for. But they have a very strong minded um, just personality when you first meet them. Okay. And just as you know them in general. Um, so you have to be carrying that same energy, Aries, in all aspects of your life, okay? Um, and that leads me to the Knight of Wands, okay? Fire energy. Um, it's interesting because we have air, we have water, and we have wands. Only thing we're missing is earth energy, pinnacles, okay? So that could be where you are trying to get to, um, to increase your 
pinnacle status or finances or your career okay for the general reading today knight of wands you definitely want to do something that you're passionate about okay creativity standing in your power okay with the horse being there horses horses always represent power and stamina to me aries okay so definitely make sure that you're doing something that's creative like i mentioned before okay um you definitely have the answer um i always encourage people viewing my readings to trust their intuition and to meditate and, and find their inner voice okay to guide them okay and just kind of use this as a means to find yourself and find your inner voice okay not really take my intuition as a replacement for yours so you have all the answers aries okay if you're not meditating um definitely do that because all the answers are within okay and i feel like you already know what to do but the other option that you have with the two of swords it, it is a safer bet um or you feel like it'll play out better um but sometimes aries in life we have to take risk okay um, just so we can reap the full benefit of what life has to offer to us, okay? Because you have so many blessings and opportunities waiting for you. Um, you just have to decide, okay? You have to be your own leader, okay? And the energy I'm picking up on is that it, that it may be easy, Aries, um, for you to lead or guide other people um but you may find it challenging for you to guide and lead yourself okay so that's definitely some self-work that we have to do if we're having that issue of guiding ourselves but we're we are just a better leader for other people and guiding them okay because we can only offer out aries what we possess within okay I don't want to drag that out too long. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I didn't get an outcome for you. Okay. So let's, let's see what the outcome. I just was too busy talking. I'm already 11 minutes. Aries, okay. So let me go stop being a chatty Cathy and get an outcome for you for the general reading. And then we'll go into the love reading. One outcome, too many cards, one outcome, Ooh, one card, just one card. Okay, maybe we're not going to get an outcome <laughs> this reading. I'll shuffle one more time, okay? Okay, Six of Swords came out as your outcome, okay? So you're definitely going to be sailing away from this um, energy of being very indecisive, okay? So you definitely want to make a claim, um, be more intentional of who you are. I said make a claim, okay? So... It could be something legal. This could be a person um, or it could be that job. OK, so you definitely will come to a conclusion, like I said, very soon because everyone wants to have mental clarity. Um, but you be mindful of looking back at the past. OK, um, so the past could be hindering you from making a choice. OK, so maybe you had some bad experiences in work or romance um, and you're a little bit nervous to be yourself. OK. But live in love and not fear, Aries. Okay, so let's go ahead and get um, your love reading. Okay, so I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I am going to um, do one card for your emotions and, and how you feel, feel about the situation. Then I'm going to do a card for your emotional blockage. So what may be holding you back in the connection um, or possibly meeting someone. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing for your person. Um, and then I'm going to follow up with a mutual energy. So what, what lies in between the common ground for the connection, then I'm going to do an outcome. Okay. So we'll see how long this reading takes <laughs> after all those things I've mentioned, Aries. Okay. Uh, too many, too many.
Okay, that came up face up. And then we'll get one card for outcome and then we'll we'll go in depth into everything. Okay. Um, we have coming out for your energy, King of Swords. Okay, very befitting. That's that air energy again, too. Okay, so you could have an air sign in your environment, or you could have air in your chart. So that will be um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, um, so King of Swords, you want to, you're very logical, very wise about it. Um, I'm getting very slow moving energy, which is not really of the King of Swords, but I feel like you want to be more practical and grounded about this situation, okay? I'm not sure why you want to move so slow, though, or, or maybe you're trying to work at the pace of the person that you're with, okay? And I'm not sure if I showed this card already. Um, what's your emotional blockage is, Aries? Four Wands, okay? Um, you... You could be married, but, but I'm going to say a higher level of commitment, Aries. Okay, so you could be involved in a higher level of commitment um, or your past experiences with your higher levels of commitment um, could be blocking you in this connection. So you could have a lot of fear surrounding um, this new connection just because things didn't go well before you in the past in a previous relationship okay this could have been someone you were actually married to or it could have just been a boyfriend or girlfriend or it could just been someone that you were entangled with okay higher, higher levels of commitments mean different things to different people okay but i definitely do feel like you took this bond very seriously okay um and it just did not end the way that you hoped it would um and maybe you hoped with this previous person that you were going to spend a lifetime with, okay? Um, since this is in your emotional blockage, you could be hoping to spend a lifetime with this new person that you met um, or the future person. You could be actually really yearning for someone to be in a serious bond with you, okay? Um, and possibly marry you one day. Um, so that could be in your emotional blockage and causing you a lot of pain. Okay. But the reason why that's in your emotional block blockage, you can't focus on the past Aries and you can't live too far in the future. Okay. Um, the saying goes that the worries will, go what is it saying? <laughs> Tomorrow's worries will create themselves, okay? I'll probably mess that up a little bit, Aries, but don't, <laughs> but <laughs> forgive me, okay? But it's something like that, okay? So there's no need for that, Aries, okay? What's done in the past is already done, okay? Um, if you're not in connection with that person or you're coming to an end of a cycle with that person, release that pain and energy with that person, Um as you move away okay and that's probably why we saw these the um six of swords that came out and you sailing away but you're still looking at the past so it's definitely i feel that your heart and soul wants to move forward and start something new it feels like in all sectors of your life so in your career in your romantic life um it could be friendships and family um which definitely family because we have the four of wands coming out here okay so uh four of wands it usually breaks down to two so two represents to me partnerships okay so it could be soulmates it could be twin flames it could be life partners it's if you believe in those things and how you be, view um your connection in life aries i should say okay um but you can um the last thing i was gonna say which i totally got sidetracked the aries is that when we focus so much on trying to obtain something, especially if it's like marriage, um, we can't really just focus on the title. We have to really look for things that bring us joy and happiness, okay? So we can find someone that's willing to marry us, Aries, um, but it doesn't mean that they are the ideal partner that we're looking for, okay? So we can't get so caught up on the titles. We have to really look for the energy and the qualities of the person 
that we can spend a long time with, okay? Um, and that may take some time, Aries, okay? So it may be some patience that you need to have um, finding a new partner or in this current connection if, you're, if you guys are, have already met or are in union, Aries. Um, for, their, for their energy or their emotions, how they feel about the situation in you, Page of Swords, um, they're curious. Uh, they definitely want to learn more. Um, they could be keeping up on you, trying to find out what you're doing, okay? You can do this many ways. You can do this through social media. You can do this by watching tarot cards on YouTube, okay? But the best way to get to know somebody is to spend time with them, to ask them questions, to express yourself, to communicate, okay? So with that vision coming out or the channel message that I got earlier, uh, Aries, you guys could not be talking to each other because there could have been a disagreement, some type of arguing. Um, it could have had something to do with a car but I, or being in a car, but I highly doubt that. But it's possible if that resonates with you. Um, but when I saw the vision, I kept on hearing the phrase, you guys are passing each other by. Okay, so that you guys are slightly missing each other each time, okay? So I'm getting the energy of you guys are just not on the same page, okay? You guys just keep missing each other, okay? So I think when you try to mirror this person, Aries, they try to mirror you, then you switch and then they switch and then you guys are just slightly missing each other, okay? Um, and someone's a little bit upset in the connection, okay? It could be the other person has a temper or uh, uh just the issue with anger that could be you or but like i always say whoever you come in contact with um god sends us them because they are a true reflection of us no matter how they look on the outside aries or how we may or how we may perceive them or how they may want us to perceive them okay because people hide their emotions they hide a lot of things okay just naturally okay because that's just humans. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you guys are much more similar than um, you think you are. Okay. So if the person is having some issues um, with anger or trying to express themselves, then you feel the same way. Or if they feel that way about you, then that's how they feel about themselves deep down. They just can't see it. So that's why God has brought a person into their life that will show them physically, okay? And to address some of those things within them. It seems like a very healing connection. Um, I think you guys can grow a lot from each other. Powerful energy, okay? With the King of Swords coming out, Page of Swords, that's that air energy again, okay? Uh, Page of Swords, they do want to take the initiative towards you, most definitely. They do want to come towards you, but they're thinking about it. They're they're similar to the King of Swords. They're thinking about it. Um, they could be wanting to be logical and practical about it as well, too, Aries. So like I said, it's definitely some mirror going on. And their emotional blockage is 21, the world. They uh, they could be trying to complete a cycle right now for themselves. So it could be timing. Um, timing. They feel like that it isn't the, the timing for it. And I've been getting that a lot. And, and I just realized that uh, we're going into Mercury retrograde or, or we're already. I don't think we're in it. I think it's like the 30th. But, you know, you feel it like a week or two before. Um, so they could be wanting to finish up some uh, uh, cycles or something that they haven't finished already that they need to. OK, so that's kind of in their emotional blockage. So they could be focused on other things and that could be bothering you. You could feel that they that they're not interested in you as much as you are in them. But that's your perception, Aries. OK, so I feel like that the person thinks very highly of you, Aries. OK, um, and they do want the connection. Um, and I think underneath the surface with their uh, emotional blockage coming out is the world. Um, they do want to start a new cycle with you. Um, they do want abundance and just a new chapter. Um, beautiful energy. I feel only positive vibes coming from this person, okay? Um, I do feel like that they may be an air sign, okay? And I think that that was the energy I picked up in the in two past readings that you had, okay? Um, 
but yeah beautiful connection beautiful a lot of wisdom will be learned in this connection a lot of healing too as well aries let's get an outcome for you one outcome for aries Okay, is the outcome going to be hidden from us, Aries? <laughs> One almost popped. Okay. Crickets. Okay, I'm going to take that one. It finally failed. Oh, beautiful. Ten of Cups. Okay, so that's the outcome for you guys. Okay, is the Ten of Cups. So you'll definitely get there. We have at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, slow moving energy. Okay, so you guys definitely will have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Um it just seems like timing. Um, honestly, Aries, there's a need for expression and a need for you in particular, or it could be the other person to release some thoughts about um, the past or just how you view and process things. Because I feel that you may be seeing the person differently than how they see you, if that makes sense. So meaning the person wants to move forward with you they just maybe can't go at the same pace you are okay and that is the reason why it makes me feel like that the person isn't a fire sign they're most likely an air sign because air signs are a little bit more slow moving in love okay uh, we kind of reside more in the crown chakra and i say that because i am an aquarius myself okay but i have a venus in aries so in my love life i'm fiery <laughs> very very fiery aries okay so um, I like to take the initiative and move forward. So it's a little bit of conflicting in, um, energy for me, honestly. Um, but with time, we learn to actually master ourselves um, and how to approach things, okay? Um, but definitely we'll have a family together with that person. So if this is somebody that you see long term with and a higher commitment and you want that, um, stick with the Aries because I definitely feel like that you will get that abundance, that peace, that harmony, that balance that you're looking for. OK, um, and once again, very healing energy for you, Aries. OK, and you could have you could possibly want to have children with this person as well, too. OK, or you could have children um, and you feel like that the person may be a good uh a good uh partner to have more children with or to have a child with okay you may view the person as very intelligent with that page of swords come out okay um at the bottom of the deck for the lessons we have i understand that i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn exactly so any failure you had quote unquote because what does it really mean to fail in life okay we always learn a lesson aries so um we have to ask ourselves what is a failure uh, like it, honestly if it really exists as aries or if it doesn't okay so you've learned a lot of lessons from your past love experiences and those are only here to guide you um, into finding something to help you grow even more okay so Everything will be okay. Um, we have coming out friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay. So friendship, this car usually represents to me like three of cups energy. Okay. Um, so this really could be a friend. Um, this could be somebody that you're already friends with. And maybe that's why you haven't expressed yourself because you feel like that it will harm the friendship in some way, or maybe in the friendship if the person is in mutual if this is somebody watching that isn't an aries then that's how you feel about the other person okay if that energy doesn't resonate with you aries then it could be how the other person feels but if you guys are both friends it's probably mutual energy okay so you guys could both not be wanting to move forward with the connection or you guys could not be talking or expressing how you feel your deep emotions because 
you guys are a friendship but like the car says i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason okay so even if it goes into romance or if it doesn't it's a reason why god has placed that person in your life okay uh we are almost at 30 minutes aries so i'm gonna end the reading there even if i wanted to pull some cards okay um if you if this reading resonated with you aries I would truly appreciate it if you comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Also, if you have not heard this today, Aries, you are loved and you are cherished, okay? Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.